In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the copy-paste features in Final Cut Pro to move clips around on the timeline. Now, a lot of people using Final Cut Pro, they like to drag things around on the timeline to move them. They'll have to move a bunch of clips and make a gap, then move that item in and then close the gap. That takes a lot of time. It's a lot faster to learn how to copy and paste clips from one end of the timeline to the other without having to drag anything. If I want to move a clip from one end of the timeline to the other, I'm going to copy it by clicking on it and highlighting it. Then I'm going to go to the top menu to edit and copy, which is Command C is the shortcut. Then I'm going to hit the forward delete button on my keyboard to delete the clip and close the gap. Then I place my mouse on the go to previous edit button and click it until I position my playhead in the timeline where I want to insert the next clip. Now there are two types of pastes I can do. A regular paste, which is Command V under the edit menu, will do an overwrite. What I really want is an insert, so I'm going to go ahead and do the paste insert, which is a ship V, and that will push everything over in the timeline and paste what I've copied in my memory into the timeline. Now because I did a paste insert, you can see that it also put a hole in my music tracks, which I didn't want because three and four are unlocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that edit, and I'm going to go ahead and lock three and four with the little padlocks so that everything will slide above it. Now when I go back to do the paste insert, you can see that tracks three and four are not affected, and all the clips slide over tracks three and four when the insert is done. Now I'm going to highlight another clip in the timeline. So put my mouse on it and click it. And then I'm going to go to Edit on the top menu and Copy, or you can do Command-C on your keyboard. Now I'm going to hit my Forward Delete button on the keyboard, so it takes out the clip and closes the gap. Now as you can see, the tracks 3 and 4 on audio are still locked, so everything slides above them. Since the playhead on the timeline is your default in point, I'm going to go to the Go to Next Edit button in the canvas and click it and position my playhead where I want the pace to be. Then I can go to Edit on the top menu and click the Paste command, which is Command V. This is a paste overwrite. And as you can see, the clip is laid down at the end of the timeline at the playhead position. Now I just want to copy one track of a clip. Up until now, when we click a clip, the video and the audio are highlighted. But I want to highlight just the video portion of the clip so I can copy just that. So in order to do that, I take off the link button located at the top right of the timeline. So then when I click on a track, it only highlights either the video or audio track that I clicked on. So when I do a copy, it only copies what's highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the video track without the audio and go to edit on the top menu and hit copy. Then I'm going to position my playhead where I want this clip to go. When you do a copy and paste, the track that you had copied always wants to paste to the track it came from at the playhead position. So if I hit the regular paste command now in the edit menu, which is an overwrite, it just lays down on track one at the playhead position. But what I really wanted was it to lay down on track 2 above V1. You can hit Command Z on your keyboard to undo that last edit. Or you can go to Edit and click Undo. And I'm going to turn off the toggle auto select on V1, located at the left of the timeline. Now I go to Edit on the top menu and do the same paste overwrite. And you can see that the clip now copied from V1 is pasted onto V2.